Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 2nd of 2020, well, it is titled Eye of the Moon. So what do we see here? Well, what looks like a gigantic eye stretched out here is actually a combination of a number of things and a photograph that required a lot of careful planning to get everything just right. So you had to get the location right and you had the rock outcropping here on Earth that is hollowed out in the shape perhaps of a human eye. But then you had to have the timing just right to get the moon set up there so that the moon would be in the right positioning so that it would fill in like the pupil of the eye. But of course that's not enough. You would also have to make sure that you're at the right distance and you're at the right location that all of that comes together at once. So just knowing that the moon would be passing in this general area would not be enough. You'd have to be at the right location to size uh, the moon and have the moon fit just perfectly within the outcropping of the rocks. And finally, of course, you have to wait and make sure that the weather is right. So even if you have everything else perfect, if it decided to be a cloudy day that day, your picture would not come out. So in this case, the photographer was able to get this nice image using the moon as the central portion of a giant eye kind of looking back at you here. Now we see our moon when we look at the moon we can also see the different structures on the moon we see some lighter and darker areas the lighter areas called the highlands and the darker areas are called maria or mare for seas and may have been thought to be seas by ancient observers looking at those would look like smooth flat areas similar to our oceans on the earth. Of course, we now know that the moon does not have liquid water on it and in fact cannot hold liquid water because it has no atmosphere to have liquid water and they are actually seas of lava and plains of lava that flowed many billions of years ago across the surface of the moon and filled in the very lowest lying areas giving us the distinct figures that we're used to seeing when we look at the moon with the combination of light and dark regions. So those are the younger regions and the lighter regions are much older dating back to the earlier to the origin of the moon itself about four and a half billion years ago when the solar system was first forming. So we get to see our moon here as well as in a spectacularly framed image giving it the appearance of a gigantic eye looking back at you. So that was our picture of the day for December the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Eye of the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.